ESB and Vodafone are preparing for the future of the internet by rolling out Ireland's first 100% fibre broadband network. Now with Trevor Luthi, the technical director of the joint venture company. Thanks for your time, Trevor. We had a great trip around Cavan. Um, it looks like a fantastic infrastructure. Is it all in place at the moment in Cavan Town or is the rollout just only starting now? Well, Colm, the, the rollout is only just starting now. Essentially, what I was saying there earlier in terms of a lot of the work that ESB has done over the last three years, like we really brought it to life in the Cavan trial last year. Now, that was two housing estates uh, connecting up 300 customers. But the next stage now is getting into the more detailed design and the more detailed construction for the whole of Cavan Town. And that's due to take place uh, and starting off in the summertime uh, with the view then to be able to offer services to the end users in, in the autumn time frame. Now, I assume that'll be the more difficult way, because I assume you pick two um, housing estates, probably pick them random or whatever selection purpose you had, so the, the substation was either built close to that or was close to that, but now as you go to, we'll say, the other side of town or farther parts of, of, of the town, is, is, is the engineering uh, problems going to be increased now? Well, no, the reason we picked um, those two housing estates is because they represented, you know, a common mix of the different types of technology or the different types of infrastructure that we would encounter for the whole of Calvin Town. Um, and like one was in the north of town, one was in the, the centre. You know, the engineering will be the same for all of the town. It's just that there's more volume to be done now. Like we have another station in the south of the town, which we'll also use to house a, um, a pop site. And we'll expand out from there to pick up the, the, the buildings in the south of the town. Um, so like in the, the engineering is still the same as it is just more the volume piece now. Like we've done 450 buildings at this stage. Cavan is of the order of 4,500 buildings. So, you know, it's just uh, increasing that by 10 scale now over the next few months. Mm. And I suppose everything is about jobs. There's obviously an awful lot of jobs and, and technicals being created for the people who have to go down and fit them as well. Yes. Well, in terms of the company that's been set up uh, between ESB and Vodafone, um, it's of the order of about sort of 70 to 80 staff that will be uh, uh, will form that company. But in terms of going out there and designing and building the actual network itself, we will be using existing kind of contractor staff uh, within Ireland, um, and there will be an opportunity to create a number of uh, additional jobs within that kind of contracting organisation within Ireland. Now, is it new technology, uh, or are the contracting companies well used to what they're doing, or is it the fact that it's a fibre optic? Is that making a difference in the way it's being laid? Well, yes, in principle, it is, it is new. It is new for the contractors in terms of you're actually bringing the telecoms and the electrical uh, deployment together. Uh, like they've done telecoms separately, they've done electrical separately. As I said, it is a new uh, d departure in terms of the, the two of them coming together. But in essence, the principles around stringing fibre on overhead network or putting uh, fibre in underground ducts, you know, it's, it's essentially the sort of same. There's a whole health and safety element that has to be managed very closely because you're working in proximity. To, to electrical network. So like that's the, the big uh, piece uh, that has to be managed um, as part of this rollout. Now, I was interviewing somebody last week in the computer business, and I just threw out the question, you know, what, where will things be in five years' time? And he laughed at me as if to say, well, I've no idea, things are changing that fast. Is the same true of uh, broadband technology? In five years' time, will the fibres that you've laid down now, will they be obsolete, or will they, be, uh, will they have the ability to be upgraded? Well, essentially what we're rolling out here, Colm, is, uh, is a future-proof network. So the fibre optic cable that we'll deploy, which will literally extend down to people's houses, that will stay in the ground for the next sort of 20 to 25 years. It's the active equipment that's at the end of those cables, both in the house and back in the HV station. It's that equipment that can be upgraded every sort of five to 10 years' time. And, you know, what we're going out with now in terms of GPON at 2.5 gigabits per second, in a few years' time we'll go out with NGPON2, which is 40 gigabits per second. You know, so you have a 16-fold increase there within the next sort of five to ten years, and who knows then what will come after that. So, like, we're talking a gigabit per second speeds now, but like in America, they're already talking two gigabits per second. They're talking ten gigabits per second. It's constantly changing and constantly improving. So the equipment on each end may change, but for the foreseeable future, the fibre that's being laid at the moment that is more than sufficient for any uh, progress that's made. Yes, that's that's correct, Colin. Yeah. Okay, Trevor Lucy, Technical Director of the Joint Venture Company, thank you for your time. Thank you, Colin.